This is Twit. All right, so Ryan, uh, 2012 happens, comes along. You know, it's just another year, but it was kind Not of your <laughs> your move into uh, mainstream comics. You got um, some somewhere along the way. You got worked into uh, doing the Adventure Time comic. the The series was already on TV, so your yours was the initial kind of print comic. Is that right? Yeah, it was. I wish I had a better origin story for this because it was the first uh, print comic I ever did, and it was my gateway to everything else. And people are like, "Oh, how did you get to write Adventure Time? That's amazing!" And the answer is, my editor Shannon Waters emailed me and said, "Would you like to write Adventure Time?" And I said, <laughs> "Yes." But the more interesting version of that is that the reason she emailed me is she had been reading dinosaur comics uh, since she was in university, since she was, you know, growing up, and. I had thought for a decade I was doing my fun talking dinosaur comics. What I didn't realize was when you're doing something online like that, it's not just the art you're creating. It's also showing, it's like this really weird long form visual resume where you're saying like, I can meet a deadline, especially a self-imposed deadline. Here's the type of jokes I like. Here's what I'm interested in. And so when they needed a writer for Adventure Time, I'm like, oh, dinosaur comics is not that far from Adventure Time. Let's see if the dinosaur comics guy is available. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said yes because I was, I was a fan of the original YouTube short and I love the show. And I wouldn't have said yes if I hadn't been able to watch everything there was that was Adventure Time. Because I used to read uh, Star Trek novels when I was a kid. And when they got the canon wrong, I'd be like, this isn't real. You know, that's not what data's processing speed has been established at. <laughs> this is incorrect. <laughs> And I didn't want to be the guy writing incorrect comics. But since Adventure Time at the time was so much smaller, I could know all there is to know about Adventure Time yeah. and then write comics that would that would fit into the canon, that would be canon in the same way. How much time, how much Adventure Time do you spend uh, analyzing Adventure Time before uh, authoring Adventure Time? <laughs> like, what went into it, like, leading up to kind of getting ready for the comic and everything? Yeah, um, the nice thing was I chatted with uh, Penn Ward, the showrunner at the time, and the guy who invented Adventure Time, and uh, he gave me some secrets of what was coming up in the show, which oh, was nice, so nice. I could sort of lay some seeds for that in the comic. And uh, really all he did was he's like, yeah, I read your uh, pitch. I like it. Um, instead of using this new bad guy invented, why don't you use the witch? And I was like, I can use the witch? And he was like, yeah, use the witch. He's a big bad of the show. Go for it. Make the comic as crazy and big as you want. And I was like, wow, okay. Let's do that. <laughs> Great. I was, I was assuming that I wouldn't be able to do big things. It was just, you know, the licensed comic. Yeah. And he literally gave me permission to go, go big and do whatever I wanted with it. And it, I think... I mean, I feel like it worked out. We got uh, some Eisner Awards for the comic, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is the mm -hmm. biggest award in comics. So that was that was terrific. And uh, it was a really fun experience. So it's almost like the comic itself w existed on a, a on a similar but different timeline than the actual TV series Adventure Time. Yeah, we tried to make it fit as much as possible. But and with anything like this, they start to you get inconsistencies. And they're like, OK, well, there's a comic universe and there's a TV universe and they match up. A heck of a lot, but sometimes things don't quite line up in the same way. And it's I made it so that my hope was if you watch the show, you would read the book and be right at home. What I wasn't expecting was I'd meet people at conventions who said, you know, I, I started reading the comic book and I didn't know they made a show out of your comic book. The show's really good, too. <laughs> no, it doesn't go that way. I'm, I'm thrilled you think that's the way it went. Like, thank you, but that's not how it went. <laughs>